All right, welcome to Geometry 3-4, Similarity in Right Triangles. Uh, and the first thing that we're looking at is on page 460, Theorem 7-3, uh, concerning altitudes. And just one more time, an altitude in our right triangle here uh, is a perpendicular segment that comes out of the vertex, in this case the right, um, right angle, uh, to the opposite side, which is, in this case, the hypotenuse. So that's when the altitude is, comes out of the vertex uh, and perpen um, hits perpendicular to the opposite side. In this case, since this is a right triangle, its opposite side is the hypotenuse. Let's look at what this is saying. So in theorem 7-3, it says that if triangle ABC um, is a right triangle, which it is, so it's right here, it's a right angle, ABC is a right triangle, um, and they're going to use these points to label, uh, with the right angle ACB, this should say, I'm sorry, um, ACB, CB, A, C, B is our right angle, uh, and C, D is the altitude, which we talked about, to the hypotenuse. That, if, so if that's true, so if you have a right triangle, and out of the right angle, you have your altitude coming down, then the three triangles created, or you know, your original and the two that are created here, uh, are all going to be similar to each other. So this first triangle will be similar to A, D, C. Uh, this first triangle will be similar to D, B, C. And also, ADC will be similar to triangle DBC. Um, that's what that first theorem, 3-7, is talking about. Next, we want to look at the geometric mean. In order to do this, let's just first read the definition here. Um, oops, excuse me. A geometric mean of A and B, numbers A and B, is a positive number x such that A over x equals x over B. And uh, let's go ahead and do an example that um, is in your book here. It says, what is the geometric mean of 6 and 15? Well, in order to do this, it's going to be 6 over x equals x over 15. Uh, using cross products that equal to each other, we could see that x squared would equal 90. Whoops. Would equal 90. Um, and through reducing, if we... Um, we can square root each side and say that x equals the square root of 90. And then reduce the square root of 90 to say that x equals 3 red 10. So 3 red 10 is a geometric mean of 6 and 15. Now we're going to talk about this on the next slide, but I just want to make an observation. That's why I've drawn this triangle and labeled these things. Uh, you could see that with a geometric mean, um, the geometric mean x um, vi um, visually is set up um, diagonally from each other when we have our, our ratios set equal to each other here. Uh, so when we set up our geometric mean, you can see that it, it is going to be a cross product of each other. Now let's look at when we're looking at, because we know that all these triangles are similar uh, and that the corresponding parts will correspond. And so when we look at these triangles that are in here, we could say, let's look at this one. Well, the short side of this would correspond with the short leg of the big triangle. Uh, and then on the big triangle, or the long leg of this little triangle here, so this one, uh, would correspond with the long leg of this one. Uh, and so this is a ratio that we could set up that is fully true. And you notice, though, that the altitude of that original right triangle is being used, uh, both at the short leg for this little triangle, I'm sorry, of the big triangle, and then as the long leg of the little triangle. So you can see that this altitude um, is the geometric mean of these two triangles. Let's look at the next slide. Now the book presents two corollaries um, to the original theorem of 7-3. And basically it gives you two ways to write proportions uh, using the lengths in these triangles without having to think of them as similar triangles. And so in the we looked at these as, uh, you know, we looked at them as two separate triangles. But there will be a shortcut just in understanding the relationships of uh, the original triangle with its altitude drawn, um, and that you could pull proportions out of, out of this original triangle um, using the altitude and using a geometric mean. And so corollary one, just kind of overviewing it, just basically says um, that the altitude of a right triangle um, is the geometric mean of segment one and segment two. Um, so again, the altitude of a triangle, of, of a right triangle, 
is a geometric mean of segment one and segment two of the segments. Corollary two says that uh, uh, the length of, or the this leg, the bigger leg of or I'm sorry, we'll start with the small leg. The small leg of a right triangle is a geometric mean to its hypotenuse and then uh, the small segment. Uh, as well as looking at the long leg, that the long leg is the geometric mean of the hypotenuse and then um, the larger segment. And those are the two corollaries. And that's just kind of, if you could begin to see, uh, memorize these corollaries, then it'll be a lot easier when you're doing performing algebra to find missing lengths and stuff if you could just kind of see... Um, these correlates from this, as opposed to looking them as similar triangles. All right, good luck in this section. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bye.